In Boys Will Be Boys, The Glory Days and Party Nights of the Dallas Cowboys Dynasty, Jeff Perlman takes readers on a wild ride through the tumultuous era of the Dallas Cowboys in the 1990s. With a blend of meticulous research and captivating storytelling, Pullman offers an in-depth look at the team's on-field triumphs and off-field debauchery, shedding light on the complex dynamics that defined America's team during its heyday. Pullman's narrative style is both engaging and provocative, immersing the reader in the glitzy, high-stakes world of professional football. Through vivid prose and colorful anecdotes, he paints a vivid picture of the Cowboys' larger-than-life characters, from the charismatic but controversial owner, Jerry Jones, to the brash and talented players who made up the roster. One of the central themes of the book is the dichotomy between the Cowboys' on-field success and their off-field escapades. Perlman meticulously chronicles the team's three Super Bowl victories in the early 1990s, highlighting the unparalleled talent of players like Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith, and Michael Irvin. These triumphs are juxtaposed with the team's notorious party culture, marked by excessive drinking, drug use, and a sense of invincibility. Perlman's exploration of the Cowboys' party culture is both eye-opening and damning. He doesn't shy away from detailing the excesses and recklessness that characterize the team's social scene. This dual narrative of achievement and excess creates a powerful tension that runs throughout the book, forcing readers to confront the uncomfortable realities of their sports heroes. The author excels in his portrayal of the key figures within the Cowboys organization. Jerry Jones, in particular, emerges as a complex and enigmatic figure. Perlman delves into Jones's transformation from an oilman with no football experience to the owner who would revolutionize the NFL. While Jones is depicted as a visionary and a risk-taker, he is also shown as a deeply flawed individual, often enabling the reckless behavior of his players and coaches. Moreover, Pullman provides an unfiltered look at the personal lives of the Cowboys' star players. He doesn't shy away from the darker aspects of their stories, from substance abuse issues to run-ins with the law. However, he also humanizes these athletes, showing their vulnerabilities and the pressures they faced both on and off the field. This balanced portrayal makes it impossible for readers to pass moral judgment easily. Another compelling aspect of the book is its examination of the role of race and race relations within the Cowboys' locker room and the broader NFL landscape. Perlman doesn't sugarcoat the racial tensions that existed among players and coaches, including the controversy surrounding the treatment of outspoken black athletes like Michael Irvin. This exploration adds depth to the narrative, shedding light on the complexities of race in a predominantly white sports industry. While Boys Will Be Boys is a gripping and well-researched account, it is not without its shortcomings. Some readers may find Pullman's writing style a bit sensationalistic at times, with an over-reliance on salacious details. Additionally, the book occasionally jumps between timelines and characters, making it challenging to follow the narrative chronology. In conclusion, Jeff Pullman's Boys Will Be Boys is a compelling literary analysis that offers a multidimensional portrait of the Dallas Cowboys dynasty of the 1990s. It skillfully explores the team's on-field achievements and off-field excesses, humanizing its larger-than-life characters while not shying away from their flaws. Pullman's vivid storytelling and in-depth research make this book a must-read for sports enthusiasts and anyone interested in the intersection of sports, fame, and excess in American culture. It serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us that even our heroes are not immune to the temptations of power and success.